hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and to a new Crusader Kings 3 series as we try to reforge Italy, the Empire of Italia. If you would like to see more Crusader Kings 3, then do let me know in the comments what faction, county or duchy you would like to see. And we can go ahead and give them a go. Uh, we will be playing as Duchess Miltilda of Tuscany in this series, trying to reforge Italy and make it a once again great empire. So as Duchess Matilda, we are the tender age of 20. Our liege lord is Emperor Heinrich of the Holy Roman Empire itself. So we're part of the biggest empire that there is. Uh, where's the empire titles? There we are. So it does control the empire of Italy as well. So that is what we are a part of. Um... Now, we currently are unmarried. Let's have a look at our stats, though, actually, first. Diplomacy is pretty good. Marshall's okay. Stewardship's okay. Everything else is okay. We are, of course, uh, heavily Catholic. And we'll be following the Catholicism faith. Troops-wise, we're actually pretty surprisingly weak, considering how much land we have. So we need to see about improving that uh, as best we can. One good thing, though, is our tax is very nice, although we do have this not rightful liege. Um, he holds the direct du jour liege title of the vassal's primary title. If a vassal is not under the rightful liege, they will contribute less taxes. So, we're obviously owning some part or some area that is not correctly mine. This is part of the Byzantine Empire. Venice is part of uh, Byzantine, is it? Are you sure? No. It doesn't say he is. Hmm. Well, we'll find out. But anyway, first things first. Uh, we obviously need to get her a spouse. At the moment, um... We have a charismatic negotiator, so diplomacy is our thing, really. We have two duchies, so we've got Spoleto, and we have Tuscany. And all in all, we want to try, and if we can, make the Kingdom of Italy, and then the Kingdom, or the Empire of Italia. That's our aim. We'll see what we can do. Uh, first things first, though, marriage. So let's have a look and see if there's any good spouses around. You're Italian. Venice, do I really want an alliance with you? Not particularly. What I wouldn't mind an alliance with is maybe Lombardy. They are also Catholic. They are neighbouring. Do they considered they're to be considered in the Italian kingdom as well so let's see if he's got any kids he does wealth wealth he is married how old is young Ugo Ugo's charming ambitious and uh, he's chaste that's not so good unfortunately all right what have we got in terms of other neighbors then Corintha who rules you Duke Corintha, you've got another 500 troops. You've got quite a few kids. Uh, he is a count. He is sadistic, though. Reckless. Tough soldier. Impatient. Good monthly prestige. And he's generous. And he has his own counties. That might be quite good, but we will need a matrilineal marriage. So, if I make it matrilineal, what are your thoughts to that? 
not. Absolutely not. We're related. Oh, are we? Oh, I do apologise. I didn't realise. Well, if that's the case, then I guess not. The papacy... We won't get involved with you. What about you guys? Are you all Catholic? I mean, eventually we will want to try and conquer you, to be honest. So maybe not. None of my direct people will be that good. Croatia, you're a good Catholic community with plenty of troops. I've got a young kid, he's two. You're out hungry, what about you? You're fairly young as well, King Salomon. You've got an older sibling. Bold Black Guard. Um, okay, he's lustful, which is good. He's arbitrary and diligent. What would he say to a marriage? No, he will not accept. King Malcolm's opinion of me is not enough. He's not far off. Only 14, what does he not like? He's important to him. He's not that important. Have you got anyone else that you're giving me an alliance with? Yeah, Prince of Scotland. Not really. Uh... I'm, I'm kind of tempted to have you, because that's a lot of troops. What what other duchies or kingdoms, I guess duchies are more important for us right now, within... I just need someone near though, I can't go too far. Okay, well, if at the moment we can't find someone suitable we will think on our feet a bit later for now let's have a look our surrounding lands prince bishop giovanni enrico you've got the um what have you got you've got the bishopric of ravina and of casentino so we ideally want to try and do that now we do need to try and decide upon her lifestyle She's obviously got great diplomacy. We're going to use her strengths here. Foreign affairs focus at plus three diplomacy. The prestige would be nice. The fertility would be nice. Hmm. The family focus would be quite nice. We've got firm hands. So we get a bit of pe prestige per dread. Alright, let's get family focus going. Takes us up to 17, that's pretty good. So she is definitely one of the top diplomats of the realm. Now I want to try and get a claim. I can get a claim for some piety here. I don't know how much that's going to cost. So we'll consider that in a moment. But first, let's go to the council, see what we've got. So my Chancellor is 10. It's pretty good. Alberto, my Knight, slightly better. As is my Mayor. Uh, you're a Count though, aren't you? So we kind of want to keep you on side. Bishop, you're not that great. Religious relations, or you can fabricate a claim on a county for me. We'll see about setting you upon that uh, quest. Steward, though, she is pretty good. Countess Mariana. Happy with her. So if she can... collect taxes for us... That's what we'd like her to be doing. Spymaster, you're uh, an eight. Bianca Savazzi, Flavio Verno. What's your traits? Astute intellect, aspiring blade master, celibate. You can't have children. I like you. You will become our new spy master. 
Um, disrupt schemes, support schemes, or find secrets. Now, I want to try and find some secrets in the Roman, Holy Roman Empire's court. As best as possible. So let's see if he can get any hooks on high-ranking members of the court. We've also got the Republic of Pisa, which is extremely weak at the moment. Why are you so weak? Hmm, a bit strange. Maybe we could take Pisa straight away. A quick gain on Pisa actually would be pretty good. They get decent gold, don't you? Yeah, your tax is pretty good. Florence is my capital. Um, we're getting less tax than Pisa is. But I have far more troops. So if we could... Uh, what could we do here? We can try and seduce him. No, we want to try and get a claim on Pisa. Happy that you're organising levies. Yeah, that's probably all you can really do for us. That's fine. You're doing what? Foreign Affairs. Of Palmer will be assigned to Foreign Affairs. Gives us a bit more prestige and vassal opinion. Or you could do Domestic Affairs. Which isn't really going to give us much bonus. Okay, that's all fine. Let's check out our military. We've got our knights. Gerhard, you're extremely good. Extremely good. Brilliant strategist, unyielding defender. Okay, well, we like you. We like you a lot. Maybe we should just marry you. And then just start cracking out for kids. That wouldn't be a bad shout. We would obviously lose out on the alliance, but... If we can have kids quickly, it might be quite good to do. Let's have a look. Will you do it? You would do it. We would get minus 200 prestige, though. That's quite... Uh, that's quite serious. But that martial ability... You know what? Let's do it. Because why the hell not? So now he likes us. Which is great. Money-wise, we're earning an awful lot of money, which is really nice. We are going to uh, hit the play button. Start building up. Uh, Troop-wise... Ah, there we go. Military strength has actually gone up completely. So let's have a look and see what his military strength is. 184. So we could possibly use our piety here to get a claim on Pisa. I don't think it'll we'll want it though. Uh, with my marriage to Duke Gerhard, the realm expects us to throw a suitably extravagant wedding. It's well within my right to collect a royal aid duty as part of this, but some may contest it's tasteless to levy an extra tax. Let's get the uh, prestige because we did lose some. Money's not going to be that important to us considering we're gaining at a good rate right now. We could request a claim, but he's not going to accept. Fine. Impression twice made. Ahead of another feast, Emperor Heinrich, Count Ulrich pays me a visit. Neither of us are in the Emperor's best graces, he points out, but if we were to provide a spectacular show at the feast, we might improve our standing with him. Does he not like me, then? Cynical versus zealous, male-dominated, foreign culture. I guess you are... you're Franconian. Whereas we are... Italian, I guess. Yeah. We can provide gold. We'll use 50 gold. Emperor gives plus 30 opinion. But it's only a 52% chance. 64% for the 150 prestige. Or gain improved impressions for 5 years. We can lose the prestige. What does that do? We'll find out. Impression twice made. For all the sweeping legs and spinning arms, he does not seem overly impressed with the dancers. Oh. So we get plus 15, so at least he's now neutral to us. That's fine, that's fine. 
that's all we need. Social manipulation. The first time it happened, I barely even gave it a moment's notice. But my vassal, Baron Fortunato, has grown bolder. His challenges no longer pass unnoticed among my vassals. So he is the Baron of Canosa. He's testing my limits and the others are sure to follow. So we can get a wheat hook. Or he outwits us. I mean, how old is this dude? He's 16. We've gained 50 diplomacy lifestyle as well. I don't want to gain stress, definitely. Let's give him tasks which are impossible to complete. He's lost opinion of us and considers us cruel. Oh well. Tough. Can't be helped. No heir to my dynasty. Well, we are going to try and put a change to that. I love the fact that he's brave as well. So that's really going to help with our knights. Uh, let's go to council a second. Assist ruler. I wouldn't mind your chivalry. Otherwise you're just giving me plus three martial and the rest we don't really need. It's your chivalry that I want. Uh, as an influential duchess, it's only fair that you have a voice on my council. In recognition of the facts, you want to offer me the position of chancellor. That's really good. That's really going to boost, uh, certainly, our prestige. The fact that we're chancellor gives us plus three. Whoa, that's enormous. That is such a gain. Right, we're trying to get a blooming uh, attempt on this. We'll see how we do, but uh, in the meantime... Tuscany is slightly split off. We've also got Corinthia here. You want to claim on Pisa. I employ you to remember that you're a Duchess by right, not greed. And who are you? You're Count the Palmer. Stop getting involved. So we've got Verona over here. I don't think we have any... Uh, we don't have any immediate claims, do we? Oh, we do. We have the County of Palmer. We've only got... Oh, we have got claims over here. Oh, okay. Yeah, but this is already part of us, isn't it? Oh, it's not. Oh, okay. Okay, we could go to war over here, then. Or am I just going mad? Ancona's not part of me. Um... Surely I do have a... Valid... Lame though, don't I? Perhaps not. So, you have been exposed. Increased military presence in Parma. Right. I would like, if possible, right, we're earning so much cash, we can already get going on a men at arms regiment. Now what's going to be good for us? Um, what's going to be the best? Probably some siege equipment would be good. What's the maintenance on you? 3-2. They're a little bit cheaper. Effective up to Fort Level 9, effective up to Fort Level 15. Okay. I think we'll start with a, a group of bowmen. And... Yes. Create? No? Or do I need to do this first? Despite our best efforts, my agents have yet to discover any secrets. Um, keep it up. Keep going. Create the bow regiment. Let's uh, go ahead and try and increase our military prowess a little bit. Right. Pisa. How are we doing here? Progress is going fairly well. We will need to spend a little m money to uh, pay for this claim, but that's okay. Pisa will be 
a pretty good financial gain for us. And the grand city of Pisa itself... Well, actually, no, this is the bishopric of Piombino. Is just okay. Doesn't gain an awful lot. But it's the city of Pisa that we want. And then we can possibly look to other areas. So let's have a look. What's going on with the Pope? His Holiness Alexander II. We've got Bishop Endorsement. Your character's faith makes it so that you have a realm priest on your council. Yes. Thank you. That's great. He's not endorsing me. What's wrong, Bishop? What are you not happy about? You don't like the fact that I'm ambitious. Well, tough. Ah, excellent. We are pregnant. That's really good. Hopefully a male heir. Actually, yeah, what is our... Uh, what's the succession laws right now? Part of this... How do I view laws? Laws, laws, decisions... Um, council, court... Still getting used to this... Ah, mail only. Succession law. Um, so what are we at at the moment? The males only is going to cost 500 prestige. Whoa. Keep going. Women are disqualified from inheritance or male preference. It doesn't actually say what rules we are. Oh, we're... No. I don't even know. It's fine. We'll go to it in a minute. Delicate affairs. Alberto has been of real help in the past few days, aiding me in my efforts to strengthen the realm's ties with our neighbours. He's just offered himself again to help me gain Duke Simon's trust, the Duke of Pomerania. It's so hard to find someone we can trust. So we can uh, become friends or handle him ourselves. We gain 100 diplomacy there. That would be quite nice. To be fair... Alberto is my knight. He is not particularly great, though. We'd lose a bit of stress, but we would gain a lot of diplomacy here. Let's do that. Right. Florence is doing good. That's where we make the most of our troops. Nowhere to the dynasty, no, but we are happily, happily pregnant. As we should be. Do you want to, uh, maybe change the dress? Let's see. Well, we've got to stay red, haven't we, really? I guess we'll stick with that. Um, Heinrich is being attacked, so he's facing a little bit of a rebellion. That's fine. My troop levy count has gone up tremendously, which is great stuff. What's his troop count at now? Still only 181. The claim is at 79. Hopefully will continue to rise. Meanwhile, let's have a look and see what's going on in the rest of the world. Like currently in England, we are in 1066, so Harold Godwinson is defending against Norway and is also defending against Duke William and losing pretty considerably. A babe has been born. Duke Gerald looks up at me, his face the picture of serenity. Wife, let us name her Matilda after you. Um, sure, why not? Matilda the second. Thanks, husband. Didn't know you cared. Right. Come on, we're earning good money in Florence. What's the actual city got? So we've got... Nothing there. We've got the Quartermaster's Office, which gives us extra levy. That's pretty nice. Consider building something here. Maybe a manor house for extra tax. Walls and towers would be quite nice as well. Store lands. Wooden barracks. 
Loyalty or Fear, your Chancellor and Knight, Magnanimous Zealot. Oh, I'm reading your stats. <laughs> Uh, as their duchess, my vassals owe me their allegiance. My word is law, but how much is obedience worth without devotion? In times of crisis, a slow response or a half-hearted effort can lead to disaster. Can I afford such a risk? Uh, let's be a generous liege. I want good support from my vassals. Neighbouring ruler one. Duke Robert won against Ramadan. Uh, diplomacy perk is now available. Great. Thoughtful. Opinion gained from send gift. Don't really care. Scheme power would be nice. Prestige per night would be nice. Befriend scheme. Children receive one to three extra. That's pretty powerful considering we're about to start. Yeah, I quite like that. Just about to get a new kid. Despite our best efforts, keep going and finding... Se okay, fine. You can't find secrets here. Instead, could I get you to maybe find some schemes in Rome? It's come to my attention that your bishop is working to fabricate a spurious claim on Pisa. No way. Because we're nearly done with it. And we've got good money. Nearly there. So the aim, of course, is to get this done. It's going to cost me 105, and we get an unpressed claim on the grand city of Pisa. See it done. Good job. So now, just improve religious relations. That's absolutely fine. Pisa. You've got no allies. We'll be going to war. My claims are for the city itself. You gain the contested title. Uh, and he's vastly inferior. It's going to cost us a little bit of uh, prestige, but nothing too drastic. Let's just pause. Get the military all up. Um, I guess we don't them, but why not? Let's have them all. Bring all the forces, boys. Right. Pause. Who is leading? I should not be leading. That's a damn sure. We're doing a bloody good one. 23. Uh, my husband has 18, but Palmer has 21. Do I want to fight? I guess I could. I guess I could. I mean, we do have such a tremendous marshal now. Why not? Matilda, go on in. Lead your troops into battle. He's immediately going to run, so we are literally just going to siege out the city itself. Oh, we can actually attack. And uh, pretty, pretty nice and easy there. Victory there in Pisa, that gives us 50% in the city. Sieging the city is going to take five months. It's a pretty low fort level, but we don't actually have any siege equipment, so that's something we need to bear in mind for future sieges. Possible uh, boost to us. Now, we are losing money when we hold all of our troops up, which makes sense. We've got enough to sustain it, and we need two months left before we can actually siege out in this place. There is a disease outbreak, though, which hopefully is not going to remind them. No. Excellent victory against Commander Vital Dandolo. Twenty-nine days left. A tremendous game for us. And we indeed captured the Doge himself. So, we will enforce our demands. We get the Grand City of Pisa, the Bishopric of Biombino, 15 fame, 15 prestige. To the abhorrent Matilda, may your humours rot. 
in your living body. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. So we gain both of those titles. Excellent. Good job, boys. Stand down. No longer required. Thank you for your service, boys. Uh, oh, fine. Just do your own thing. Do your own thing. So Tuscany has grown. We're above our domain limit. What is our domain limit? Realm size. Oh, we've got one too many holdings. Well, if I can keep the county of Pisa and get rid of the barony of Livorno, that would work. I would like to try and get limited crown authority passed. That would be nice. Uh, right, you. At the moment... Bishop of Tuscany. You're owning all this. I need to give away some titles. The County of Pisa is actually going to make me decent money. As and when we get some control. So at the moment, control is at 61%. And that is going up by 0.2%. Taxes due to low county control. Okay. So what's my lowest county that I've currently got? Siena. Getting one gold from you. Firenze. We obviously need to keep because it's Florence. Mantua. 1.7. Modena. I want to keep. Brescia. Might get rid of. Might get rid of Brescia because it's far, far north. Could give it to someone in the court. You already account, your account. Could give it to my spy master. He is Italian. I just give you Pisa. I don't know. Go on, have Pisa. Make it great. Just makes you uh, an exceptional mayor for me. Greetings, Duchess Matilda. I've heard good things about you, and I'm interested in starting a written conversation. I hope that this letter finds you well. Thank you, Duchess Nordgau. You are Bavarian. Let's start exchanging letters. So Tuscany has grown quite nicely. Lombardy, what is going on with you guys? You've got 1,600 troops. Pick the first subject for us to discuss. Some excellent war stories. Tell me about the rooms of the court, yes, please. So, Duke Alberto of Lombardy, he's allied to Cagliari and Bohemia, so he's actually got some pretty good allies. Bohemia's a great ally to have. She's not impressed with our correspondence. Bavaria, how many troops have you got? Or oh, Bavaria, I guess, actually. I need to consider an alliance with my new daughter. Of course, at the moment... Ooh, no, we're ill. Oh, do we have a court position? Crap. Uh, send for a position, so I'll start the search. Send for a position now. Notable guest has arrived. Valdemar. You are Swedish. Interesting. My servants have found some people who might fit to serve as a court physician. Either way, I fear I cannot afford to be picky. Martina is quite experienced. Let's have a look. She's got decent learning. Uh... 
and Niklas is a little bit worse. Hmm. Right, I think we have to pay, we can pay handsomely for that. Time for treatment. Do no more than what is necessary, we don't want to take any risks. She bought me a concoction made from buckthorn and senna. At first I thought the potion ineffectual, but later the same day I felt a churning in my bowels which sent me running for the privy. As I howled in anguish, she assured me that the foulness was expelled from my feces. In the end, the, cle the cleansing turned out to be just what I needed. Excellent work, Martina. Well done. Good job. That's what we needed. Uh, we already have a court physician, but thank you. Got our court physician. Uh, I do still have three prisoners, actually. Will I get any ransom for them? For a favour. For who? She's not really anyone to me. None of them are really anything on me. So we can ignore them. Faction against Emperor Heinrich. So he's having a bit of a struggle here. My old self, good. We're back to being well again. That's great. Let's pause for a second. Let's just take stock. So you are still part of Lombardy. Or have you now been absorbed into something else? No, nope, you're still the Duchy of Lombardy. I need to get an alliance for my daughter because you're a little bit big. Corinthia is something that I would consider taking. You've got an alliance with Zurich and Austria. Austria is fairly big, but we could take both of you on already. Okay. Who can we marry you to, young lady? Byzantine Emperor himself. Wow. Uh, Russian, Welshman, Frenchman. Looking for Italians here. And this would give me an alliance with Venice. But I mean, Venice... It's 800 troops. Fine. But I would rather just capture Venice, quite frankly. They don't answer to anyone. They've got no allies. They're just a republic. It's three titles. Again, we can just give away the city and let it join us. Yeah. To be honest, I think that's what we'll do. Let's get the council. Let's get you fabricating a claim on Venice for me. You... You couldn't really find any schemes, could you? So that's fine. We could build something in Florence. What do we want to build? Manor houses for more tax. To get us 0.7. We don't really need too much tax right now. Barracks would be quite good. 150 goals, takes three years to build. Heavy infantry and spearmen. Archers and skirmishes though for this. Military camps. I am going for a bit of an archer build. Alright. It's a bit of investment for us. Seven issues. Not endorsed by him. That's fine. Powerful vassals demand council positions. Who's demanding a council position? Count Fermo. You're not very good though. Oh, we've got a bit over here as well. Lombardy, though, you've got an awful lot. I'm going to need to go to war with you at some point. But now I have a claim on you. What's my claim on you? Count Anselmo has a claim. For what? A county... Oh, I can't even work out what you're claim is. The county of Luca. This makes no sense. 
What is your claim? House Luca, County of Luca. I can't even begin to suss it, but he's already a count of mine, isn't he? Why can I not work out? It's just me being stupid. Right. Anselmo. Okay, you're my vassal, you're the Count of Luca, you own the County of Luca, and you have a claim on Casentino. Why doesn't it say Casentino here? I know it's highlighted, but I feel like it should say it. If it doesn't, and I'm going mad, then do say, but I feel like it doesn't. So if I press this claim, it's going to cost us quite a lot of prestige, and quite a bit of piety. Not sure right now if I'm feeling that. Not sure. We'll have a think. We will have a think. Uh, Umbino. Can't declare war on you. You are totally lowborn though. Surely no one's going to care if I get you. Maybe. Yeah, maybe not send you there. Maybe send you on Umbino. I think that's going to be less controversial, isn't it? Alrighty, let's resume. We're still... Are we still uh, Liege's Chancellor? We are, which is doing a great boon for us. Piety's a little bit slow. Taxes we're losing because of unraised men-at-arms, but that's fine. I would like to get some mangonels going. And another diplomacy perk. Heart of the family, close family, that's kind of useless. Firm hand, Praetorian guard, monthly prestige per night. That would be quite good for our prestige. <clears throat> Can we actually get any more knights at the moment? I don't think we can, can we? We have got some good knights, though. Yeah, our current knights are all pretty decent, and my husband... You can change clothes, husband. I feel like you should. Change your clothes, have... Is there an attack? Specifically, so let's give you Western Mobility one. Fine headwear. You can have a circlet because you are a duke after all. Now you should be in. Uh, oh, hair color. Blimey. Stick with your normal hair color. Grow a bit of a beard though. Go on, some. There you go. So let's change his appearance a little bit. Any chance we can have another kid? We're 24 now. She is already two. It would be... Oh, talk of the devil. Pregnancy again. Let's have her educated. At the moment, she's got a bit of a proficiency for stewardship. That would be quite nice. Who's a good steward? Me, I'm best. Okay, well, we'll educate her then. To the rowdy Duchess Matilda. Uberto, what's wrong with you? Your brash neigh is like a burning stick. I really want to feel your lips touch mine. That I know how you smell. Should you do everything I want all the time? He wants to win our heart. Yeah, leave it out. Uberto, we're not interested. We are the sensible Duchess Matilda. Right, how are we doing now? Money's gone down slightly. How's Pisa doing? Pisa's getting a bit of tax, that's great. That's really good. Our levy is all healthy. We've got Bowman. Excellent. We could just do the war with you, but the trouble is my piety is going a little bit low. 
does give me 0 0.5. Does anyone improve piety for me a little bit? Not particularly. Okay. Uh, prematurely, as the days go by, my trepidation grows instead of my belly. Surely it should be, should show more by now. Something must have gone wrong. Damn it. We lost our kid. Damn. Right, well, there's still time for more. Okay, I think we just do this war whilst he's got no allies. He's got a claim on the county of Luca. Let's just get his claim. It's not that big a cost, to be fair. We'll make it back with the amount of prestige that we're making. Military, uh, I just want to call up my levies, to be honest. I don't really want to call everyone up, but I guess I've got to. And let's start losing a little bit of cash. Right. Uh, we'll meet him in the middle. Bossy, which gives her some martial stewardship. Happy with that. I'm pretty happy with that. Right, we are at a minus four here. Actually, the enemy command is pretty good, but uh, we got like short work. We did take a bit of a loss there. It was a bit of a shame. Uh, if we can just capture his capital, then that will save us looting this barony. So it can come back to us in the full health, which I think would be a lot better. In all honesty. And now that we've got the siege equipment, it's only two months for the siege, which is great. It's really good news. You're coming along quite nicely, so that's going to give us some more levies as well. We are losing a little bit of cash, but nothing too drastic. Who are you attacking? Why am I involved in this? Oh, you're attacking the Holy Roman Empire's allies, fine. You're nearly done. Groomed to rule. She's increased her stewardship by one, excellent. So she's already at four stewardships and four marshal at the age of three. Bloody hell. Matilda, you are going to be the next Matilda beast. And we have captured you. Let's just end this right now. So we get the Bishopric of Casentino. Perfect. Oh, or Anselm does. So Anselm's going to be very happy. Which is great. More land for Tuscany. Yeah, look at him. He's beaming. Absolutely beaming. Good man. So, once you're back in our lands, we'll get you disbanded. Uh, yes, that's fine. So we'll let the troops recover a little bit. Prisoners taken in siege. I don't think we've got any more prisoners, do we? I think we got rid of them all. Uh, hooks and secrets. Hooks you hold. I've got a hook on you. Factions. There's no factions against my liege, though. There is a little bit of factions going on. Decisions. You don't want to found a holy order. I do want to unify Italy, but I can't at the moment. Heresy. Duke Sven of Ostergotland has announced to the world that he and his vassals have converted to Catholicism. No, Catharism. Oh, wow. Jesus. Ha, huh, so I could convert. Absolutely not. We are staying as Catholic as they come. So Tuscany has grown. We managed to capture Pisa. We've also managed to bring in Casentino. Possibly might get another claim. Social manipulation. The first time it happened, I barely even gave it a moment's thought. But my vassal, Count Vitale, he's not that keen on me, has grown bolder. How dare you challenge your duchess? Or commenting on his graceful feet will throw him off. Oh, yeah, that's good. Lost opinion. <laughs> Failed in our manipulation. That's fine. 
But I think there, ladies and gentlemen, we will end the first episode. If you're enjoying the Duchy of Tuscany playthrough and would like to see more, then do leave a like on the video. Subscribe, hit the red button, hit the bell, all those good things. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Hello! <laughs>